welcome back to Teen Brain. I'm your host, Alaria, and today we're joined by Mark, Jacob, Kenzie, and Matthew. And today we're going to be discussing the dress code in church. So, Matthew, let's start with you. What do you think about it? Well, Alaria, I think, I believe personally that, um, obviously, when you wear nicer to church, it's a sign of, like, code of respect, obviously. Um, but I feel like if you were to wear, like, shorts or a hat, like, it wouldn't be as... It wouldn't be as like, like he's not gonna, I feel like he's not gonna condemn you for wearing shorts or a hat or like short sleeve. And I don't feel like he cares. Okay. Um, I agree with you kind of, but about the hat, like you're not supposed to wear like a hat in church because like the head of man is Christ. So like, you're not supposed to like cover your head. Okay, maybe like the hat, maybe you okay. But I'm saying like in general, does it, he's not as worried as we think he is about. I, yeah, no, he. I, I, I agree with that. I feel like we enforce it a lot, especially like. In in like the cultural dogs, I feel like we enforce it, extremely that we need to wear pants, 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 um, button up shirt, button up shirt, button up shirt, and I need to wear a suit and tie. Okay, the suit and the tie. That's no one ever said that in rules, but they say it's an unwritten sort of rule, and where like pants and like something nice on top but it's not if you don't wear this like you're going to hell or like you're you'll you'll be condemned or anything like that it just simply they're teaching you to come present yourself before god like be presentable like when you go to apply for a job you're not going to go like <laughs> <laughs> okay but they're teaching they're teaching you that based off like earthly standards so like okay I I personal my personal opinion like I'm gonna show up to church wearing pants nice clothes like on Sunday liturgies I'm gonna go up wearing a tucked in like button up like that's important to me because that's like one way that I show respect but like I agree with Matthew in the sense that like God doesn't really care like for example you could have someone show up in church wearing shorts and he has like he knows everything he knows what he's doing he's being very respectful then you have a guy show up to church in a suit and he doesn't even know why he's there like you. Yeah. So I, I honestly don't think that, like, God really cares. I, I feel like he's just kind of overblown with, like, because of our, like, worldly standards. I, me, personally, I still think, like, I would still wear pants because it's just one way I show respect. But I agree with him in the sense that, like, I don't think God really cares that much. I don't think God cares, but it's okay. For example, like, is it's the same thing, for example, when they say, when you're praying, for example, let's say you're saying our Father we're taught since we were young to like stand up when we're saying it. But is God going to look at you differently if you say while you're sitting down? If you mean what you're saying? Okay, but out of respect when you're saying our father, for example, you're standing up. But if he doesn't care, okay, like, okay, let's say on a test, your math teacher doesn't tell you to show your work. You don't have to show your work. Are you still going to show your work? No, but that's not the same. That has nothing to do with respect. If he doesn't care, I'm saying if he doesn't care, yeah, why but do it? It's, it's showing respect shows a lot and it reflects in the way that you see the person that you're standing in front of. For example, if you're going to someone that you don't really care about, you're going to wear like very low clothes, like you wear shorts and like a t-shirt or whatever. But if you're going to go to see, for example, someone really important, you, you're going to wear much better clothes. Yes, the person might not care, but... At the end of the day, like, the way you present yourself reflects a lot in the way that you see that person. Okay, but when you go see your friend, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, you, when you go see your friends, like, you, you dress nicely, you yeah. put a nice fit on, so, like, you feel good in that fit, but that fit you can't wear to church. Why? Because, like, you're still seeing someone that you like, God, so, like, it's the same thing. Okay, okay, let me give you an example of going to a wedding. When you're going to a wedding, let's say it's your best friend's wedding. If you go to your best friend's wedding and... You're wearing shorts and a sweatshirt. One second. Are they going to look at you and be like, I don't want this person to be my best friend anymore? No. They'll still be your best friend, but they're going to be like, oh, like, this person's showing up to my wedding wearing that. Like, they're not respecting the event in my wedding. Okay, I agree with you. I agree with you. But at the same time, that's because we're also looking at it from earthly perspective. Like an earthly perspective. I agree. It's a way to show respect. I like, And again, my, my personal... Like, what I would do, I would do that. I would show up wearing nicer clothes. But at the same time, like, 
you could lit again you could have someone show up to liturgy wearing shorts and he's praying he's he has strong faith he's very respectful he knows what he, what he's doing and then a guy again show up in the suit and just like have no respect for the church so i think that i think we're getting so stuck up on looking at it from uh like a man or like not manly but like a mankind like view instead of what god actually thinks about or cares about because he let's be honest he doesn't really care about that he doesn't care but it's just but we it just how do you see him you're not gonna one show up like wearing nothing like you okay now look modern okay like let's say you're going to your best friend's house yeah. what are you gonna wear you personally okay no no or does it the church teaches to be as close as possible to God. And it's like as if it's literally best friend. Yeah. Okay. But does that mean that because God is your best friend and your friend is your best friend, you're going to talk to your friend the same way you talk to God? That's what they teach us. So you're supposed to talk the same way? I'm not going to. Okay. Obviously me. Obviously so that's the same thing. That's the same thing with how you dress. No, it's not. No, wait. That's okay. the chain. <laughs> no, no, wait. The way I talk personally, if I fly, right? Yeah. Like, okay. Minus the language, minus yeah, everything. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. I, I talk to God. When I my prayers, I talk to God like I'm having a conversation with, with someone who's standing in front of me. And he does have a point. That is what they, like, that is technically, we should be talking to God as if he's our best friend. So, like, when we're frustrated with God, we should tell him that we're frustrated with God. When we're thankful, we should tell him when we're thankful. It's not, it shouldn't just be like, uh, just us. Like, we should, we should be able to talk to God as if we have that, like close like best friend relationship but with the respect yeah obviously with respect but like it there there are so many things that we on earth like overblow and like clothes is one of them like it it's the clothes that you wear is not that is not mean it's not really that meaningful it's just kind of an extra thing on the side like that i i, I agree with him in that sense like we should be talking to god as if he is our best friend Okay, but it's the same. Okay, let's say let's say you got out of it. It's, it's the same exact thing with talking with your friends. Let's say talking to your dad. Your dad is should be your best friend. You should be super close with him. You're gonna talk. You're gonna make even let's say ignore any bad or any those like jokes. Like the jokes you're gonna make with your friends aren't gonna be the same. You can't some of them you can't do with your dad even if they're not disrespectful or anything like that. You just can't. It's, it's a different person. You have to show different respect. Same exact thing with the way you dress. No matter how close you are, no matter the church says you should be like, the, he should be your father. You should be like, you should be super close to them and all that stuff. But you still need to show the respect sign. You can't talk. Well, yeah, we're talking with everyone. We're not saying you have to suspect your dad. Are you really close with your dad? Um, you can make jokes, but there are jokes that, I, for example, I'll make with Jacob that I can't make with my dad. But we're, we're not no, respectful. No, it is respectful, but it's just. The person, the person that you're looking at, he just at a different like stature than Jacob. Okay, I can wear whatever I want with Jacob that I can wear with my dad. Yeah. Okay. So it's the same thing, but it's not all the time. I'm saying God is everywhere, so you can wear that stuff at home. God is everywhere. You're talking to him at home, but when you go to his house, you have to dress in a certain way. You're at Jacob. That's how big. That's yeah. I don't hear. You don't have to. That's the thing. You don't have to. It's just. It's. It's just another extra way of showing respect. You don't have to do that. You're not gonna lose anything. I'm not saying you're gonna lose anything, but I'm just saying that 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 I, where I can't. Uh, sorry for lack of a better word, but like that stigma of I have to dress nice. I have to do that. You don't have to. That's just an extra way of showing respect. Again, me personally, I would. That's just me personally, but I don't agree with like the oh you have to wear a tucked in button up on the uh, at okay you guys have been like talking about like guys only but like if girls were to like it's girls yeah it, no because if no it isn't because if a guy wore something like if a if a guy wore like shorts to church it's way different than like a girl wearing okay, don't like a girl would like slit up to here. Or like but that's the a really what's up I think is an example as like guys wear pants, not shorts. Like the girls wear, for example, like jeans, not like 
a very, very short shorts that you'd wear to the beach. I, I, I have just example we're giving. Doesn't matter if it's guy. Oh, no, it's th th different for a girl. I have one example that can work both for uh, more than the rip jeans, for example. I it pisses me off when people wear rip jeans to church, but that's just me. Is God going to care about that? Probably not. I I don't think he has a problem with someone. I don't think he really cares if someone wears a bean. But me, because I'm on the earth and because I'm thinking it from like a, an earthly or like a worldly standpoint, that pisses me off when people wear a jeans to church. But you can't. he's not going to get. So that's like, it, it kind of, it. it's the same thing for both men and women. Like, there's things that outer. Uh, that's just, okay, like, a, let's say you're trying to wear nice to, let's say we're trying to wear nice to, um, to show respect to God, right? Couldn't you make the same, like, argument that in order to show that you're close with him and you, you're not, you're not hiding anything from him that you would wear comfortably? Or not comfortably, like, more, more laid back? The moment you're laid back and too comfortable, that's when you start messing up. When you're standing and, like, you're, like, on your toes... That's when, like, you're like, okay, I can go this way, I can't go that way. Once you're laid back, you can do whatever you want. No, 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 no. If you get too comfortable, you're going to mess up. Well, you, get, you mess up when you think that you know everything and you think that you can do everything without God. That's when you mess up. If you're comfortable with God and you have a healthy, strong relationship with God as if he's, as if he's your best friend and, like, you're firm in the faith, you're not going to mess up. If you're like, oh, yeah, God is my best friend, so if I go to this party, he'll understand. So let me just go to this party. He's my best friend. He'll understand. No, but yeah. if you have a good, I mean, yes, if you have, if you have, if if you really have a strong, oh, that's my point. If you really have a strong, good relationship with God, and you know that at this party there will be things that are wrong, that are taking place, then you know you shouldn't go, and you know you and you wouldn't go. So it's you. You're you're supposed to want to get comfortable with God, but it show show how you're not hiding anything from Him by dressing like how you would dress with your best friend, showing them that you. That you like having that close relationship with him, just like you're showing how you respect him and how you respect your dad at the same time. Plus, he created me. Like, it doesn't. Yeah, he nothing he hasn't seen. It's, yeah. Okay, you guys all had great arguments, all made great points, but now let's leave it to the experts. Welcome back to Teen Brain. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dress Code. My sons and daughters did an amazing job in a very open discussion. They were almost fighting with each other. I loved it. But in the same time, they left for me to try to do some sort of reconciliation of opinions. The dress code. I know this is maybe weird, but I would like to quote something from the Bible. Genesis 35. It's the time when Jacob was about to meet Esau. And our Lord told Jacob, get rid of the strange gods you have with you make yourselves pure and change your clothes. Come, let's go up to Bethel. I like the word, let's change our clothes. You are about to go to the temple of God. He's asking Jacob's and his son to change their clothes, be pure, because they are about to go up to the temple of God. We also um, read in 1 Corinthians 3, that everything is lawful, but not everything is beneficial, and not everything is suitable, and certainly not everything should empower you. So let's go back to the dress code. Do we have a dress code in the church? Can we arrive with anything? Because I love God and God is my friend or my father, can I relax and wear shorts or anything with him and all these important issues that were brought up in this episode of dress code let me just start by saying every place has a protocol and even if you are a friend with the ceo of a company if you are being asked to attend a meeting with administrators you will not go in shorts even if the ceo is a cousin of your father you will not address him, uncle so-and-so, although he is your uncle, but you will tell him, Mr. So-and-so. Number two, there is a protocol for the court. There is a protocol for schools. There is a protocol for myself when I go to a hospital. 
There is a protocol for people who go to a lab technician. There is a protocol for photographers. So why aren't we thinking that there is big issue about the protocol of dress code in the church? Another point. Many of us connect our dress code with respect. Not because I am disrespectful, but sometimes if I am wearing something less dressy, I may be perceived as if I am less respectful of you or the environment I'm in. Another point. I want you to think when you are so comfortable, as my boys and girls mentioned a while back, in your own dress code, could that give you the feeling of relaxation and loss of respect and awe in the liturgy? If you are wearing something that you go to the park with, don't you think when you start in the liturgy you'll be very relaxed, maybe you want to sit down, maybe you don't think of, of what's happening around you? I want to remind you of something that we read in the liturgy but inaudibly. And actually Jacob of Surug said it. How can we eat from the body and blood that the angels cover their eyes because they cannot see? The angels cover their eyes and their feet in the fear of God and the awe of his presence. Don't you think the least we should do as earthly humans to be more respectful in our dress code? I'm not asking you to think of God less than a father, but he also a judge. I want you to combine the love and fear when you worship God. Because the next step you will say, why should I worship down? Why I stand up in prayer? Why can't I sleep while I'm praying? Why do I sit up when I read the Bible? Because the level of respect you show will give you the respect and fear of God who you are about to read or talk to. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Teen Brain. Hope to see you soon. God bless. You.